Good morning and it is Thursday the 3rd of December and hard to believe we're 21 days, 3 weeks for Christmas Try and keep my head a wee bit warmer while I'm in here So my reflection this morning, my thoughts this morning were this So I got up this morning and uh, whilst I was potting about getting ready I decided to check Facebook and I saw that two compadres that uh, go in the water six miles down the uh, six miles down the Clyde from me in Cross Ford, I saw that they were already in and they'd put a picture of their feet in what looked like snow and the, the title was First Flurry of Snow. Um, I've not got my glasses on, Nicole, so I can't see what you... Oh, God, you must be made of titanium. Oh, good, that's funny. So, sorry. Um, my reflection this morning is this. I'm going to keep it really brief. And uh, I opened up Facebook this morning to see a couple of compadres that swim also in the Clyde, uh, about six miles down from here, and they took a picture of their feet in a flurry of snow. And immediately when I saw that post that they'd put up, I noticed how I was less uh, <laughs> less inclined to come here this morning. But I was watching how my head was playing tricks with me and saying... <laughs> That's funny, Jerry. So, morning, Sarah. Morning, Andy. Morning, morning, everybody. So, yeah, I saw that post this morning and saw how they'd posted up in their feet in some snow. Um, and there was one part of me really put off by it. There was another part going, God, I can't wait to get my bare feet in snow. Um, and then I noticed how I went out into the car and there was a, there was a flurry of sleet uh, snow on the windscreen of the car. And again, that started to make the journey down here worse. Anyway, I had about five minutes uh, sitting in the car before I came down and I started thinking about how much do we actually believe what we're thinking, what we've been told, what we've been taught, uh, how much of an impact uh, our mind has on us moving forward, right? So if we want to move forward effectively uh, and we might, say for an example, we've got a business idea or something like that and we share it with somebody, oh, you know, you don't want to do that, you know, you know, you, you, you're going you're gonna to get yourself into bother with that or I've, I've been there or even at the moment it's like, oh, you know, starting a business in the middle of the pandemic, oh, you know, well, I'll just no bother then. I'll just no bother doing that right now. So long and the short of it, eh, after battling with my mind, battling with the internal narratives of, oh, it's too cold, just stay in the house, just get back in, the heating's on, um, make yourself a cup of tea and sit and watch the news. And then here we are, we're in here. Is it any colder than it was yesterday or the day before? It's going to be colder when I get out. So why would I stop doing something? Let me, let me, let me try and articulate this right. It is freezing. It's cold out, Maggie. It is cold. It is definitely cold. But, right, so... On one hand, coming here is beneficial. On one hand, doing this is uh, productive for me, for my day, for my mental health, for getting focused, staying focused. That's what this fundamentally gives me is focus. I feel as if I've had a, a charge of caffeine when I come out of here, uh, which, which lasts me through the day. Uh, I feel as if I'm able to achieve more. I feel as if I'm more positive. So it works. Then there's that screaming, niggling little voice in our heads Anyway, too early to be phoning, 8 o'clock in the morning. And why do we listen to those voices in our head that are trying to tempt us towards comfort and not moving forward and keeping us in a place of almost complacency versus challenging the and getting ourselves out there and actually uh, doing even the video is freezing. <laughs> it's funny. Um, you know, it is what it is. It's cold. but um, So the point of this reflection this morning... Um, the point of this reflection this morning is... 
Why do we pay any attention to those voices in our head that try and pull? Right, okay. So sorry, I'm going to keep it really quick. We've only got a minute left. And why, like, for an example... Uh, for an example, with the fellowship meetings, you go to a 12-step programme, you, you go there every night, for an example, or three times a week or whatever, and then you go outside and it's blistery, you've got to get a bus, and you're like, oh, you know, I just can't really be bothered. Um, now, it's versing up the effort and the reward of what we get from pushing ourselves beyond the comfort zone um, and getting ourselves out there and achieving uh, more than what we would achieve with sitting in the house watching the telly. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Um, pretty difficult to focus because, as you may notice, it is rather chilly outside. But um, my encouragement would be, or my thoughts would be, as it is, how comfortable is your comfort zone and what are you going to do in order to challenge your, your, your comfort zone and um, the way that you've been living, if it's no beneficial, you know? Um, lots of things are scary and it's uh, finding the strength and the resilience and uh, it's all really in the mind isn't it it's all in the mind um and how how we uh, how we listen to those voices and interpret them and you know having resilience you know if you're going to flake out the minute somebody puts something up on instagram about you i had a woman the other night there ranting off her head um, you know, we know she likes a wee, a wee, a wee whiskey on an evening. Um, you know, keyboard gangster and sitting at the end, of, uh, sitting on our couch. Um, no replied, which is very um, indicative of them. But thoughts this morning is challenging your mind and uh, building resilience. If you're going to go flaky every time somebody posts something negative about you on Instagram, well, there's not any resilience there. And basically, you're allowing them to control you and you're not able to control your own emotions. So, um, emotional response this morning when I saw the compadres down in the water. Oh, it's snowing, it's going to be chilly, I'm not going to go. Uh, stop doing this for two or three days.